What's going on guys? We are out here at Dell Air RV Center in Corpus Christi, Texas. They are an open range dealer and this is a really cool new mid bunk floor plan that I really think you're going to like. So hang tight. I'll be right back. So let's take a look at the numbers on this Highland Ridge 335 MBH. So this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 10,950 pounds. It has a cargo capacity of 1,282 pounds. So relatively low cargo capacity, but it also has a relatively low gross vehicle weight rating, especially for a coach that's approaching 40 feet long. So this is a cool setup, and I think you're going to like this one because it has a lot of really cool features for the weight and especially for the price. So one of the first things you might notice is that it has a relatively tall underbelly, and that's because this does not rise on a drop frame. This is one solid I-beam frame that runs from the front to the back, and it just doesn't use drop frame technology, which also means your storage area is going to be a little bit smaller than some. So your front pass-through storage area has this big step up, and this is where your I-beam frame is going to be. And overall, it's only about a foot tall, but it's about three and a half feet wide. So you do have a fair amount of width to it, just not a lot of height to it, and that's something you're going to want to keep in mind. Also up front here, you're going to have your propane tank access. You're going to have a tank on each side, and you can see what your additional storage area would look like here if you open up that front compartment. You can see that it has all the connection points here, so if you did want to plumb in a generator, you could. Okay, so... Getting under here, you'll see that it does run a 12-inch I-beam frame with a boxed section here to really increase the height about 2 inches, but it also adds some rigidity and some strength as well. So it does have a boxed section above where the equalizer and the suspension is going to be, but I do like the fact that it rides on a 12-inch I-beam frame. This runs the LCI Equiflex suspension, which is a pretty nice suspension system as well. And I like how they design their hangers because the hangers are a bit more robust in terms of how they've designed them versus some others. Some others don't have that tapered edge right there and you have a smaller weld point. Right here, you're going to have a much longer welded area here, which is going to add some strength to the suspension setup. In the back, it does have electric stabilizers as well. This does not have an auto leveling system though. You can see they love to talk about their three-year structural warranty. You have your outside kitchen area here. There's no sink, even though you do have an outside water connection. So you will have the ability to have hot and cold water out here. You do have a nice little mini fridge here, as well as some storage and a cooktop and a place to mount a TV back here. And that's probably a trend you've started to see with these open ranges. I love the fact that they have a really nice back entertaining area here. This one has one long awning that extends over, and it has speakers in the awning, which are nice. Coming around back, you'll see that it utilizes all LED lighting. This one also has frameless windows, and it also has a connection for a barbecue pit back here off of the back bumper, as well as your propane connection right there. Wired for a Furion wireless backup camera, full walk-on roof with ladder, as well as your docking station connections here, 50 amp connection in the back, plus your water, city, and an outside shower area right there. There's the other side of your back electric stabilizer. So this RV has four slides. It has one slide on the other side and three on this side. Three of the slides are going to be Schwintech slide systems, and this main slide right here is going to be rack and pinion, which is a very good setup. I like the fact that they've set it up in that fashion because it's going to give you the rigidity where you need it, the strength where you need it, while at the same time the reliability of good slide technology. You can see all the frameless windows on this side as well. Coming around to this side, this is the other half of your pass-through storage. And one thing that might be a little different that you may have noticed is this one doesn't have your traditional wet bay. So you're going to have your dump valve release down here, but inside of this area, you'll notice there's no valves or anything. And that is because they put all of their water connections in the back of this coach, and they've put their dump valve areas in the gates here on the side. This is going to be your front bedroom slide. It does not have an upgraded pin box, but it has a nice LED light strip up front. Let's take a look inside of this coach. This has the aluminum entry steps, and again, this is a 335 MBH. You'll see that this has an MSRP of 59471 with an asking price of 42471 Whisper Quiet Air Conditioning System, that's really cool. 
And this is going to have a booth style dinette area as opposed to a freestanding dinette, which is going to give you more sleeping space. So it really depends on what you want. You may want a freestanding table here, but it takes away some sleeping areas, or you may want this setup, which can convert into a bed for smaller kids. Plus you have your theater seating here, your love seat here with cabinet storage on each side, as well as power connections. Nice tall ceiling heights. I really don't need to measure this simply because, you know, most people that walk through here aren't going to be eight feet tall. Nice fireplace with TV above it. You have a nice pantry area here. Lots of countertop space. A really nice size island. As well as a nice cooktop area, refrigerator, microwave. And you have areas to hang clothes or jackets or whatnot right here, which is also nice. Your thermostat's right here. This is going to be your entry into your mid bunk. And it has a good size mid bunk. So the sofa in here is more of a love seat, but it's going to fold out into a bed. You have a top bunk. And one thing they've done really nice in this unit is the fact that they've made the top bunk significantly higher than this bottom area. So even though it's a bit of a step up to get into here, it doesn't go low enough that if you're going to be sitting on this chair, you have to worry about your head hitting it. That's actually a really smart idea. And I like the fact that they've used actual angle iron here instead of the traditional way some people do it. And they simply have this little plunger that goes into the wall and that's what holds up all the weight. So that's also really nice. You have an area for a TV here as well. Nice little desk workstation as well as more closet space over here. This is a really cool little fifth wheel, especially because it's under 11,000 pounds gross vehicle weight. And that is very rare for a rear living room mid bunk setup. You have your control panel over here. You have more storage up here. And that is a very, very nice size storage area. You could easily fit quite a bit of stuff up here, like pillows or blankets, towels, whatever you might need. Coming into the bathroom area has a very nice bathroom. Again, don't really need to measure the shower stall because there's actually quite a bit of height in there. I can bet it's going to be upwards of about six and a half feet tall. And then you look at this area here, a lot of room around this sink, a lot of storage areas. Look at all the cabinetry here, more storage down here, porcelain foot flush toilet. This is going to be your wardrobe slide coming off the side. So you have storage there. You got more drawers here. And this is a very functional master bedroom area. The fact that it has a queen size bed, lots of room on each side, lots of room underneath it as well. You're probably not going to hit your head on that because it's actually relatively high above the bed. You have your second air conditioning unit in here and a thermostat's right on the wall, as well as your TV connections, all your power connections, and you have more wardrobe space over there. This is a very nice laid out bedroom and you have a lot of room at the end of the bed, which is really nice as well. So yeah, guys, this is a really cool fifth wheel. I actually like the floor plan quite a bit. It definitely gives you a lot for the weight, for the size, and for the price. This is something that is going to probably even approach three-quarter ton towable for fifth wheels. So even if you have a three-quarter ton truck and it's a gas engine and you have 3,800 pounds worth of payload capacity, this is well within towable for that type of truck, which is really nice. I don't only want to throw out RVs that are one ton or dually towable. Even half ton towable RVs exist and I try to show you those, but for a three-quarter ton truck, if you are looking for a really cool floor plan, dual air conditioners, whisper quiet AC unit, a full bunk house as well as a really low price and a relatively light weight to it under 11,000 pounds gross vehicle weight rating on this thing with a 12 inch i-beam frame plus no cable driven slides this is actually a really good value and i can probably guess this thing's not going to be here that long so yeah guys in terms of the value you get for a fifth wheel in the weight class that this is in with a lot of the upgrades that it has this has to be one of the best values that i've ran across of all time now the only thing you're going to sacrifice is you're not going to have a tremendous amount of underpass through storage so you may have to actually utilize some of that front storage but you have a lot of things to really like about this unit especially considering a lot of three quarter ton single rear wheel and one ton single rear wheel trucks can easily manage manage this amount of weight and that's something major to consider especially if you already have your truck and you're not looking to pay more for a higher payload package equipped version anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the video of this unit again this has to be one of my favorites in terms of value if you haven't had a chance please take a moment subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up we'll talk to you again very soon